All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Lord's Bees. We're about to get into the hives. We had, uh, we did some things during the week this week, so things are gonna look a little different than the last time we recorded. Uh, but we'll show you what's going on and see how these bees are doing. So let's head out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started uh, getting into these. I'm gonna get into Megan's first. Um, since the last time, I don't remember if we showed her queen or not, but she has a laying queen now. She's got some eggs going. Um, over this last week, we had somebody come out that's a, a very experienced beekeeper. He pulled a uh, frame of brood that was getting ready to emerge from my initial hive and added it into this one so that we could have a whole bunch of bees about to get added to this. So let's take a look and see what we got. We also took our nuke and pulled the frames out of that uh, since that had pretty well 100% died off which is unfortunate, but it happens. So, let's get this fur comb off of here. Let those ladies find their way back. Set our wax right there. Okay, if you'll come in here close, you'll see in here, we've got a little bit, it looks like powdered sugar here, and it actually is. Um, it's been treated with some antibiotics, and it's just been sprinkled around the outside here. So, Hope uh, that will help get some good health to our bees. So first off, let's get the feed taken care of. It doesn't look like they've eaten a ton, so they've probably got a good outside food source. We don't really need our sugar syrup right now, but we're gonna top this off. syrup in there so there's not really much need to throw that one up. So we may have made up a little sugar syrup and not really need it. So just pull this out here. So with these nuke frames that we added they've already got drawn comb in there. So they could be getting very busy with with this comb. Uh, we could find some bees here on the outside. I keep putting my hive tool down and then things are good. Let's see what we've got going in here. Let's see what my best way is to get this frame out of here. Just right down in there. Try not to throw any bees or throw any comb here. looking too much for any like fruit or anything out here right now. These are more food frames than anything. Typically your food frames are going to be more to the outside and your brood going to be more to the top. But there are a few bees on here. I'm glad that they're going to be able to, to use the resources from that nuke. They're probably in here cleaning off some of the uh, i 
starting to dry out the back of this frame, which is good. Uh, oh, they're not going to like that. Um, if you look down here, we've got some worker brood. Uh, looks like there's eggs in just about all of those open cells. You can see some capped syrup over here, some pollen. out of there. Looks like the queen's already started putting eggs right back in those cells. Same over on this side here. So, let's see if I can find our little queen bee. We've obviously been around here in the last three days because there's plenty of eggs down in there. Oh, 
hopefully these videos aren't getting too monotonous for everybody I'm trying to find new things to show you but there's not always new stuff so we did take a little hiatus for a minute while we tried to get things figured out around the hives for a little while. Got girls? Yeah. Well. So yeah, we did take a little bit of a break, but I am trying to be fairly regular with our content. So try and make sure you guys get as much bee action as possible. And I know when I was learning about beekeeping. That's all I wanted to do was look at bee videos because they are fascinating little creatures. So let me run over here real fast. Grab our oldest bucket of I made up a couple buckets thinking we might need it. I forgot we already had one in the shed. Typically when I'm filling this, I'm filling from this one side, but I'm watching the other two to get an idea on where the level is. That way I know when it is time to stop. The other one might not be eating this, and this might be it. So it might be more bees, possibly. Um, could just be that these guys have relied more on their syrup for some reason than the others. Uh, it may be that there was enough food in the frames that maybe they just used some of that if there wasn't nectar. But typically if there's nectar for them available, they're going to be using that rather than Could be anything. <laughs> it's definitely a good question. Let's get into here. Let's see if we can I don't know why they're out here laying on the ground. drawing comb on these outside frames. That is very, very good news. Um, if this keeps up and they keep drawing out of here, once we've got 80% of our frames full, we can add another box. And that would be fantastic. There's a good full frame there. That brood, you can See some larvae down in there. You want to bring the camera up in there, Cade? You can see the little worm like seas in there. Those are the larvae growing up. All the cat as well. Yeah, they're drawing that on the other side. That makes me very, very happy. So another thing that happened during the week, I was out at work and we had somebody stop by with my mom and uh, he had kind of gone through all the, the hives. One thing that he did is he kind of checkerboarded our frames and what that means is he kind of separated um, some of these frames and put a blank foundation or a partially drawn foundation in between each full frame and that is definitely working to stimulate comb production which I truly do appreciate. I'm glad he was able to come out here and take a look. Now this next frame is looking pretty hefty and I like it. Let's pull it away 
here and up. And look at all those bees. Isn't that fun? <laughs> you can see all that capped brood in there. Down near the bottom, you can see some that look a little more bulleted. Uh, they're more raised up than the worker brood. That's drone comb. So those are gonna be our male bees that don't really do much for the hive. They just kind of exist and eat and try and mate with the queen. And when they do mate with the queen, they end up dying on the spot. What a way to go. Um, some young larva in here. Here's a big drone right here, okay? If you want to come right in here, if you look right in there, really dark looking, bigger than the other bees, and you can look at his eyes, how much bigger they are. Can you see him in there? So he's right there. I'm pointing at his butt right now. Yes. He's kind of crawling away. That is a drone. They have much larger eyes, a larger body. They have more of a blunt end to them because they don't have a stinger. They can't even defend the hive. So, yeah, he's just crawling right through there. It's so fun to see so many bees in there, getting busy, doing what they need to do. The busier these girls get, the more they build up the comb, the more boxes we add, the uh, greater chance we have of having honey this year. And having honey this year would be nice. Um, you don't always get honey in your first year. But I would love to get some. That would be awesome. Uh, just a lot of workers in there. Another thing that you did when you came out here is you hard part with me. So that should make her easier to spot. Like these guys down here just building some comb. That's another one of our checkerboarded frames. So we had one really heavy right there, and now that one's pretty sparse. So now if we take this one. Hey girls. Yes, I do talk to my bees. I know they probably don't understand a word I'm saying, and I certainly don't understand a word they're saying. But I do it anyway. I'm weird like that. Another solid frame of bees. Is that capped honey in the corner? Yeah, that looks like capped honey right up here. That's definitely for the bees. That's nothing we would ever take. They always kind of surround their brood frames. What's going on right here? So right here in that corner. Um, you can kind of see that we've kind of busted the comb open a little bit. So they're probably there eating up any storage that they had in there or just trying to repair things. Something like that. Let's look around over here. Like I said, our queen is marked. I'd kind of like to see if I could find it. another drone. And those guys are easy to find. Here's a drone emerging actually right now. If you see, I don't want to drop this. Um, kind of middle frame, about four inches up from the bottom. There's kind of bees crawling up on it right now. Um, do you see that, Cade? He's kind of got his head poking out. Middle of the frame, about four inches from the bottom. So that's the your left side. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I see it. You see right him now. crawling out right there? Yep. So I don't know if you guys follow us on Facebook, but I found a really fascinating video yesterday that I put on there. And it shows the queen laying an egg in a cell. And then it shows that egg from the second it's laid all the way through to it emerging as a baby. It shows the whole process there. And I probably just smashed a bee <laughs> dropping that frame down and I feel really bad about that. But, uh, all right. So yeah, if you're not following us 
on Facebook, kind of check that out. Uh, it's really a fascinating video to watch because you just see inside that cell, you see the little egg become a little larvae. You see them start putting the um, royal jelly and honey and pollen into this cell for them to eat. Once they cap it, you see that larvae start spinning its cocoon on the inside. It really is fascinating. Quite a few drones I'm noticing today. I wonder why that is. I know they've got to have some. And when winter time comes, they will actually kick all of those drones out. They will all get killed off. They do no good but be a drain on resources in the winter time. And these bees can't afford that. They can't afford somebody to be a drain on their resources. queen yet and I really wanted to see if I could find her but I don't know that I want to spend too much more time in here. Got some bees a little excited getting on my gloves there. Probably finding that food. Just another kind of blank frame here. But they're getting it drawn out. I actually learned another thing that I guess when John was here checking out these hives, he had said if you have a hive, you're not really drying out the comb. Sometimes if you take some of your excess bee wax like we pull off the bird comb and you rub it on the frame, it will actually give them a reason to go and draw that out some more. So I know he did that. On my mom's hive, they drew like took some beeswax and drew a little heart. And he said, "Come back and look at that, and you'll see that that heart is getting drawn out more than anything else." Yeah, we've got that side getting drawn out there. Some sugar stores. Yeah, this is this is pretty well solid food. This is all honey right in here. That's nice. Cool. Well, we know our queen bee is in here somewhere. Where exactly? I'm not 100% sure. I thought with her being marked, it might be a little easy to, easier to notice her. Obviously, I either missed her somewhere, or she was buried under some bees. That's okay. We know she's been there. Yeah, they're finding some food on my gloves. This one's just, we got a lot of bees around on this one. That makes me very happy. Um, hopefully, hopefully uh, next week when we get in here. Sorry, I just blew on them a little bit and got them a little riled up. Uh, I might have lost my smoke. very happy with me coming in and blowing on them like that. Obviously they're not, they're getting a little riled up here. But it's for their own good so I don't squish too many of them. And especially don't want to squish like a queen or something. That's when you end up with a really bad situation.
pinch anybody like that. <laughs> tell you, these girls sometimes make it really tough to get them closed back up. Grab a bee brush here. Brush some of these off. And that'll do it for today so you can see our entrance is getting a little crowded they're uh, trying to all get back inside it looks like um, but that ought to do it for today so thanks again for watching guys uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos still um, if you know anybody that's interested in getting into beekeeping wants to see more about what happens Make sure you let them know about our channel. Um, hit the subscribe button down in this corner over here. Um, that'll make sure that you guys know about any new videos that get posted. Give each video that you guys watch a like. That's going to help other people find our material. So um, until then, I guess we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.